previous video, we talked about just like a general generic, here's how you should think about worker nodes, here's how you should think about control planes. Let's dive into this a little bit more. Let's dive into the control plane specifically or the API server, whatever you'd like to call it. Now, of course, the control plane, it has multiple pieces in it. It could have etcd, the scheduler, the API server, but you'll often sometimes hear it called the API server as well because it's a big piece of the Kubernetes cluster. Leaving off where we left off with CIS, what I wanna do is I'm gonna do a search for Kubernetes. And this is gonna be in the same downloads that you saw, by the way, before. Now, this is really cool. Notice how there's a generic Kubernetes benchmark, right? But then there's some for specific platforms, GKE, OpenShift, AKS, GKE, EKS. So for the major clouds, yeah, there's even a benchmark for them. And in my opinion, that's awesome. So let's just click on a random one. I don't know. We'll, we'll go to GKE here. And then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open that up. Now, as you can see, pretty much the same style, right? A little bit shorter, 255 pages. But if we scroll down, I'm gonna keep scrolling here, keep scrolling. And let's just pick a random one. Ensure that the kubelet configuration file ownership is set to root. And of course, again, we can see the description, the rationale, impact, audit, et cetera. Now, let's go ahead and click on another one because I'll show you in a second here if I can find it again. If you look at any time that there's a you know concern with the control plane, so to speak, it'll tell you the control plane cannot be modified. Why? because when you're using a managed Kubernetes service, GKE, EKS, AKS, you can't really do much with the control plane. So from a security perspective, it's something that you should think about, something that a lot of people think about. All right, so let's just do like the, the generic Kubernetes one. Let's go ahead and open that up. And now a couple, couple pages longer, maybe 20 pages or so, but let's maybe click on, oh, we can't click on these, that's okay. So I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna scroll and find a good one here. Okay, perfect. So for example, ensure that the API server pod specification file ownership is set to root. So it's gonna give you the description, the rationale, the audit, and then the code to run. If we go ahead and if we scroll down a little bit more, we can see here some information about the audit log. So again, it's gonna give you the description, rationale, audit, and then the remediation here. So really, really cool stuff for the API server and for the control plane in general really good guide to go through. Now, of course, this is uh, pretty lengthy, so you may have to sell the idea of going through this uh, to your manager, but in any heavily uh, security-related environment, which all environments should be caring about security at this point, um, you should be able to be all right getting this through with your manager. But let's say you want to take a little bit more of an automated approach to CIS. Well, here's what we're going to do. I'm going to pop open my terminal here. I'm going to clear my screen. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna run our kubescape scan command again, except I'm gonna specify my account ID, all right? And I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna copy that. I'm gonna open up my terminal. Now, if you don't already have kubescape, it's totally fine. You can sign up forever. There's like a forever free edition. Uh, you get into it and then you'll be able to get your account ID and all that stuff there. So what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna run this command. Alrighty, and similar thing that we saw before, except there's a difference. We can now see the results on the web. And here is the Kubescape page. Now, cool thing about Kubescape, something that just got implemented, I think, uh, I think a couple months ago, CIS benchmarks. <laughs> so if you don't feel like going through all of this manually, Kubescape goes through it for you and gives you the results right down here. Now, you can actually see the IDs, which is interesting, the control names, the descriptions, and there are a few other things that are really cool about this. So. Let's, for example, I don't know, let's find secret etcd encryption enabled. It tells you all Kubernetes secrets are stored primarily in etcd, therefore it is important to encrypt it. Now, what's the remediation? Turn on the etcd encryption in your cluster for more information, see the, or for more, see the vendor documentation. Now I can click fix here, and then we can turn on the fix, which is cool. Now, another thing that we can do here is if we click on that link right there, it's actually gonna show us the issue. And then it's gonna show us the remediation again to turn on the encryption on etcd. So what's really cool about this is 
It not only gives you uh, a much easier page to read than the PDF, for example, but you can actually implement the remediation yourself. And that's how you can get started securing your API server in your control plane, both with the CIS benchmarks by themselves and with a popular tool like Cubescape. Thank you so much for watching. Thank <laughs> you.